I've decided to start a new project, an aquaponics project. So in our backyard we've got this nice little fountain with a little pond set up here. Um, but we don't really turn it on much, I can't be bothered really keeping it clean and all that. So I've been looking on the internet and seen how you can set up an aquaponics system. It's not hydroponics, it's aquaponics. So the plan here is I've got a container that I'm going to grow plants and vegetables in and we're going to have a special drain system set up which will drain the water back into the pond and the pump will be connected up to pump the fish pond water into the grow bed back over here. The idea is inside here we have some goldfish and the goldfish do what goldfish do and mess up the water a bit as they feed and the fish water that has nutrients in it gets pumped into the grow bed which is going to have vegetables growing in it and it feeds the plants so the idea is it's a fairly small ecosystem um, I've bought a water plant that's edible for fish so hopefully I won't have to actually feed the goldfish and we'll see how we go I'll video some more once I make a bit more progress so I've had a bit of an education in how bell siphons work which is this device here so what we have now is a 20 mil conduit with some fittings just to make it um, fit through the bottom of the container and a fair bit of silicon just to make sure it's watertight then I've jammed on the end of it just a uh, coupler and a reducer to go to a larger size so that we end up with a large pipe at the top uh, I've got this top part of the bell siphon which is just a 40 mil 50 mil uh, drain pipe that's blocked at the end and a little bit of silicon around there just to make sure that it's tight and what happens is when the water level gets to the top here it's supposed to suddenly empty so we'll put that back in the center so the pipe comes out the bottom then I've just got an angle and it runs along back into my pond and I've got a small pump there which is pumping water uh, back up into the grow bed container so when this reaches just a little bit higher it should start emptying out any moment now we should see some water coming out this tube and there it goes so we've got a tiny bit of water and then we've got a lot of water so this will keep running until the water level drops right down to the bottom the water's almost reach those holes at the bottom it gurgles for a little bit and then the water flow stops and now it'll start filling again um, by the way I've got some milk containers in here that's just to displace some water so that it fills up faster Here's my water coming in from the pond, little fish tank, and you can see the water flow has stopped. So my next job is to, uh, I put some holes in this, and then this is going to sit down here. So some holes at the bottom that it'll just keep out any of my rocks and then I'm going to fill this container with rocks which is our medium for grow bed. Right, I've got holes drilled now 
in this uh, growth medium guard so it's just pushed in so water should be able to get in that bottom but this should stop the stones from falling in here so if I ever need to make some repairs I can get access to it. So now I'll um, wash the stones and start filling it up. We're at the next step now. I've filled it with pebbles. Um, my bell siphon still continues to empty and fill correctly. Um, water's a bit murky but I did try and wash the pebbles as much as I could. So the next thing's testing pH. I've got a little pH tester here and what we want is around 6.8. So 6.7, 6.9 is a range where fish and plants both do well. This is too high so I need to add some acid to bring it down. So I'll add some vinegar to bring it down until I get to 6.8. Um, I'll need to do this carefully over quite a while make sure I don't overshoot. Well, I had a bit of a leaking problem and even despite putting lots of silicon glue I made a mess but it didn't really stop the leak. So here's a chance to show you my standpipe. This is a 20mm electrical conduit. This is a conduit bulkhead sort of fitting but one size too large but just the right size for the conduit to fit inside it so that's where it goes through the tank. Um, here is just a little union that I put on there to fill the hole and there was actually an o-ring inside to block it but anyway silicon. <laughs> uh, another little union and then a reducer here just so that you can have the reduction in size. Um, I also drilled a tiny hole here. The purpose of this is just that if you turn the pump off completely eventually it'll drain down to this level rather than keeping your plants roots wet the whole time. Anyway, just thought I'd show you that. Um, yes, the reason for the leak was that originally I had a larger pipe, tried to change to a smaller pipe and jerry rigged it and nah, didn't work. I need to buy a new tank. So here's my initial setup. I've got my grow bed, I've put a couple of lettuces in there. I just rinsed the soil off them from the seedlings that I got from the nursery and put them in as deep as I could get the roots um, and I've got some fish so they're just um, ordinary comet goldfish from the fish shop I've got five of them, they're about 12 centimeters long um, I was told I'd probably need to have to feed them initially because it's a new pond uh, I also put some water from a local lake in here just to try and kickstart any uh, bacteria that I need for the system to work correctly. So there it is. There's my system. I'll let you know how it goes.